guys, welcome back to another speedboat that we have yet to name. <laughs> um, so this time I built this house, hey, because someone said they were confused about who's building the house. Yeah. Um, me, this is Cora, <laughs> Cora speaking. Uh, yeah, I built this this morning actually, because we needed a video for today. And um, I went to my grandma's today, it's like currently 9 p.m. This video is supposed to go up at 8 and I think we're just gonna make it. Because <laughs> it's only oh, a short video. Seven. Yeah, you just said it's nine and it's supposed to go up at eight. Oh, wow, I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused. It's <laughs> currently yeah, seven around. here and it's supposed to go up at hour 8 p.m. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> um, I just got back from my grandma's and I started building a house yesterday and I wanted to build something with a diagonal because I don't think I've ever built something with a diagonal because it's such a yeah. pain. I've done that once before. <sighs> Yeah, and I made it way too big and then I moved inside and the floor plan is like floor plan with diagonals are just a mess Yeah, I cut out so many hard. corners mm. Because I was like this just doesn't make sense. Like it just needs to be a way yeah. like I don't know <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how they do it in real houses. I mean, it, I think it makes more sense in real houses I don't think I've ever seen know. a house with a diagonal in real life I have but like usually they just have doors in there. I think yeah, and then just like a living room or something probably. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it was very hard. Windows were super, were super hard to place. <laughs> Roofs, because they're like on a different height. Yeah, and everything <laughs> just looks different. Yeah, it was very weird. And um, I actually gave up surprise on the living room because nothing matched. Like I found out that the... What are the couch tables from? Are they from... Jungle um, Adventures? Seasons. Seasons? Oh no. No, Seasons are the no, ones no. that oh, are like I thought boards. the sofas that you used. No, no, I used the sofas um, from Seasons. Also, couch table. Oh, those jungle, sofas. It might be Jungle Adventures. I think Adventure. it's Jungle Adventure. Those sofas from Seasons are so pretty, but what's what's up with the color swatches? Mm. They're all ugly. I know. <laughs> Apart from the purple ones, but like, realistically, I don't know any person that has a purple couch at home. Right. Because it's I just don't know. Weird. No one has as many colors as <laughs> you can have in yeah. The Sims. Yeah, you exactly. Know? And then since it's just too many. And then since the couch table from Seasons is like way too big, I was like, oh, this like junk adventure adventure one looks cute. So I put it in. It matched like the wood color that's on the sofas, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's surprising. You know, wood color that matches. And then I tried the side tables from it, and I was like, there's no color swatch from the same like. The side tables are the ones that belong with yeah. the couch tables, and they missed a color swatch. Yeah, sometimes it's just like what? I was like, my what boyfriend was sat, sat next to me when I went through it yesterday, and he was like, "What are they doing?" <laughs> like, and all the side tables I realized yesterday are too big. Yeah, the side, the end tables. I don't know. They're just for end tables. Super yeah, whatever high, they're high. I think they're so tall. Yeah, and you're like, why? Yeah. Why do they have to be this tall? I mean, even next to a bed, they're right. still too tall. I mean, I get it if it's like a huge bed and they come specifically with that bed, like a box spring or whatever you call mm -hmm. them. But it's just ridiculous to have them at like, <laughs> especially the seasons one as well that I use in this that's very low. It was super hard to find end tables or side tables, whatever they're called, to go with it. Yeah. Because they're all so tall. I think I ended up picking some from the base game. I actually picked them <laughs> in the living room as well. Um, but yeah, I tried to give this a bit of color, like a few pops of color here and there. Yeah. Because I really enjoyed that green. Is that green? Lime green, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I love that green. Yeah, it's so pretty. A light apple green. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Sadly, I couldn't really <laughs> find a lot of other things that had that tone, but... I wanted to keep it so badly that I was just having that color scheme going on in the kitchen and then in the living room we go more into like red and blue hmm. uh, because I didn't like the get famous sofas in here because they're too I don't know I feel like this is a very sleek kind of yeah. place and I feel like it has a lot of potential to be changed quite easily because I mm -hmm. think the floor plan is quite cute yeah like it worked out really well. It shouldn't be a problem. Like if you want to download this, I think it's only it only came to like just above forty thousand, which is not bad. Um, yeah, I mean, you can if you want to use it as a starter. I guess yeah. it's just you just have to delete all the expensive stuff and yeah. just put like yeah, <laughs> exactly. the base game stuff in or something. Exactly because I and used then... like the expensive shower and stuff. Yeah. So 
like a super expensive one because we discovered it when we built did the fixer upper i'm gonna link that if you haven't watched it already in the description yeah we did that with rachel aka ray allison <laughs> sims yeah with an s at the end sorry rachel <laughs> um <laughs> And I discovered the, the shower there and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. Like, I never used that. Um, so, yeah, I ended up using that. I also liked how the living room turned out. I don't know. I'm digging it. Like, I like that rug a lot, but I never used it before. Mm. So now it's kind of like, ooh, fancy. And then I tried all the couch tables and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> you know, I even tried making them smaller and stuff. And nothing would work for me. So I was like, you know what? I feel like this doesn't even look like it would need a couch table yeah some some living rooms just don't you know like my mom doesn't really have a couch table right yeah like she only has this really small kind of table there but mm -hmm. i don't think that's a couch table <laughs> <laughs> and they have a huge sofa also sorry if you can hear some drilling linda's sibling is currently over uh building something <laughs> But sewing yeah, something sewing <laughs> oh yeah sewing I, can, machine. I can hear that i need to give him my jumper yeah i already <laughs> told i already <laughs> told leanne about it <laughs> um yeah that would be super nice if leanne could fix that for me um but yeah i actually like this kind of nook that i had there like the floor plan was just really working with me it was so easy like because i go off camera and do the floor plan because usually it takes me quite a bit to figure out the best floor plan and i would just end up cutting it out anyways because it's just too long and who, who like wants to watch me make a floor plan for you know 20 minutes it's not really the most fun thing to watch and i feel like the floor plan you see all the time when i build anyways so hmm. you see how it True. turned out anyways um but this floor plan only took me about like a minute because everything was so obvious you know when you build houses and the floor plan is like oh yeah this is how it has to be um so yeah oh yeah coming to the struggle here with like all the end tables uh, being too tall for this bed and i love that yeah bed. i think it's one of my favorites because it looks so realistic yeah <laughs> and kind of except for the pillows in the back yeah but i mean they're just decor like a lot of people yeah. have them and would just realistically they'd always be laying on the floor if it were my bed right because you'd never <laughs> use them and you'd never put them back on <laughs> Yeah. Unless your mom visits and you're like, uh, yeah, I'm a grown up. I have my pillows all sorted on my bed. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, never. <laughs> yeah, literally never. Um, also, I thought this house is kind of modern, but also I thought it turned out quite homey hmm. because I still put some clutter and stuff. It's not as sleek as the fixer upper. Yeah, uh, was but yeah, I thought it was kind of cute. And I also think if you were to download this, you could really easy just add on to it like if your mm. sim was like gonna have a child or if someone would move in with them yeah true uh i think it's pretty easy to make it bigger also you could have probably in this you could have already had two bedrooms if you would have made the kitchen and living a bit smaller mm. because it turned out really big i mean like the kitchen's really big and the living room is quite big as well you could definitely cut out a bit and like yeah move stuff around yeah um, probably <laughs> and i also made sure they had like a barbecue area outside and a cute little place to sit and like some planter boxes so you can like totally have your sim garden in this which is awesome mm -hmm. i always like when there's activities in houses but i tend to forget them because it looks so random if you just have this yeah. room full of like activity right. stuff but realistically, is anyone playing us, like us? Because Melinda and I build all these cute houses and stuff. But <laughs> when we build houses for our own save files, we just start with a <laughs> box. And then like as we, yeah. like as the family grows, we add on more like random rooms because we can't be bothered to make the whole house yeah, over. Yeah, exactly. And then we just have random stuff. Like, like whenever I had to have toddlers, my backyard is a mess because I would just have all these random toddler toys mm. or like this really big playground for them. Yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like whenever we look over to each other's games, it's just kind of like... Yeah, what I hey, usually... What are you up to? <laughs> what I usually do is live in that like crappy house until I have enough money. Yeah. To and then out. I move into a pretty house that right. I've built before. Like 
like in a nice way so that everything makes sense and stuff right but it's realistic yeah but in the beginning i'm just like oh no i'm just gonna add a random room here it doesn't even look good well you just just like change the walls a bit or put the baby into the like adult (laughs) bedroom and then you're like right i guess the toddler could sleep here too i think it's realistic though to like save up um and then get a new house once you have enough money but anyways, this video is um, coming to an end shortly, so we hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in Monday's video. Bye! Bye! Bye.